All right, 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 all right. Food successfully shoveled into my face. I think we're good to go now. Let me uh, get booted up on the uh, scrim account. Hi, guys, doing hello, hello, hello. What is up? Hello, hello. Happy Friday. It is good to see you all. Uh, it is time for some scrams. It is time for some scrams. So we are going to be having a guest, uh, a guest caster on. It's going to be Cookie from Team Empathy. So we're going to be getting him in and shortly. Let me just quickly get booted up and get everything started before I actually get the call going. Um, but hi, hello. It's scrams. It's time for some scrams. Some scrams. Okay, let me turn off the uh, the uh, alerts. But yo, Crunch, the Changeling, thanks for the gift sub. Cricket, thanks for the 14 months. Flopper, thanks for the 33, man. Critical also with the motherfucking 13. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yo, appreciate you guys, man. Keep in mind that alerts are probably going to be off for the whole stream. And I'm also going to be in call with a guest, so I'm probably not going to be like thanking subs and everything. So yeah, anybody that subs in the future, feel free. Like if anyone's like, oh my god, Tofu didn't thank me for my sub. Just like let them know for me. You know, be like, bro, the motherfucker's busy. Chill out, idiot. Call him an idiot too. Do it. Do it. Call him an idiot. Well, actually, wait. No, don't do that. No, wait. That's all, that's probably only okay if I do it. Actually, never mind. Don't. Sorry. Don't do that. But like, let him know for me if you would, please. Um, let me. Uh, 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 has Cookie casted before? Not here. I think Cookie may pr probably has casted in like other works and stuff. I'm assuming, but I don't know. I mean, maybe. Who knows? Um, but either way, I'm getting him in regardless. So it'll be it'll it'll be chill. It'll be a fun time. Uh, okay. All right. All right, all right, all right. Things are good now. Yes, perfect. Yes, perfect. Everything's set up perfectly. Yes. Okay. So the first matchup, um, just to go over quickly, the first matchup is gonna be <clears throat> it's gonna be Prism versus uh Evigy, Okay. This is inaccurate. It's gonna be Prism versus Evigy, though. Okay. It's all right. We're it's it's fine. We don't, it's fine. We don't gotta talk about it. It's fine. I, staff is surely busy. It's fine. It's fine. It's gonna be prison versus empathy, or, 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 or sorry, not empathy. I keep saying I, I, I keep saying empathy. Prism versus effigy is gonna be the first matchup, um, and uh, I'd have to go look at the killers. Hold on, I'm gonna go find it. Uh, this schedule has been updated. Yeah, it's cool. I'll 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 just like go see what the first matchup is, and then if you guys want to like maybe find some time to update it before the second best of three, then I think we should be good. Because as long as I just see what this matchup is, then we can be fine to wing it. You know what I mean? Um, wait, hold on. Let me get this. Wait, who, wait, who am I inviting? This is Effigy. So I'm inviting who again? Prism. Yes. Prism. Yes. Yes. Oh God. Which one of the autumns is it? You're in a match. So probably not you. Uh, 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 I like the name local cunt. That is great. I love that. That is a fantastic name. Um, this autumn. That's probably the right one, right? That's not the right autumn. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Ignore that! Oh god! Uh, hold on! Hold on! Uh, oh god! Uh, nope, that's not right. Is it this autumn? Not like this. Oh, it's all coming down, boys. It's all coming down. Uh oh. This autumn. Ah, okay. The right autumn joined. It's okay. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. All right. Anyway, uh, Cookie, I'm gonna I'm gonna hop in a call with you. Hop in whenever you're ready, man, and then I'll uh get the stream headed your way and everything and then i'll also see who the killers are and everything real quick too all right perfecto hello 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 hey how's it going man it's going it's going i was just reading the sets for the game oh yeah yeah, yeah. did you see what it was i believe it said nurse clown xenomorph oh uh, okay yeah there's a lot of xeno today which is really surprising well a lot of xeno tiebreakers i think so but still interesting yeah looks like effigy put nurse yeah, yeah. So it'll be Effigy on Nurse, and you said Clown? Was that the other one? Yes, Clown. Interesting, huh? All right, all right, all right, all right. This will also be the first week of our new rule set too. So mm -hmm. we have a we have a, a much stricter rule set. Um, I might have to like actually hover the perk screen for a second before I actually go straight to spectate just to make sure that everything's okay. But yeah, we'll be rocking Nurse. I think we still have Nurse on that big ass growing storehouse map, I believe. Uh, nurse is Cold Tower One. Oh, we changed it to Cool Tower. Let's go. Yo, Diner's making big moves. Okay, sick, 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 sick. All right, cool. The, the uh, gamers are all in. If the stream gets kind of bad, let me know. I can try to play with settings. I don't know. Discord streaming, I feel like, yeah, has no been worries. very sketch lately. So I, I never know. It's you know what I mean? Oh, wait. Yeah, it's on crazy high quality. I think that's probably going to make it lag. Hold on. I'm going to do this. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. And that's probably gonna make the FPS better, but if it looks like shit, just let me know. I don't mind fucking with it. it, yeah, no it it's, it's only a sec. But anyway, how's it going, man? How, how, how you it's doing? Going. Yeah, it's, good. it's probably late over there, right? It's it's eleven thirty. 
<laughs> okay, how much of a degen are you? Like, is this because we're gonna yeah, be I'm running? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, okay. I'm good. Okay, okay, good, I'm good, here good. For the ride. All right, all right. See, that's what I was unsure about because I know that like if you're from Europe, it, it runs deep mm -hmm. into the night. So I was like, hey, you know, we'll see. I mean, if you're, well, I've shown up for the five a.m. slot a few times. So okay, good. <laughs> empathy, we get like the twelve a.m. slot, and I'm like. Yeah, that, that sounds fun. 5 a.m. for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, I mean, if you're able to do it, dude, I mean, it's kind of sick. Like, I feel like, I feel like, if, I feel like if you ask, like, teenage tofu, right? Like, if you ask, like, 14 year old tofu what he'd like to be doing as an adult, I think, like, staying up until 5 a.m. and playing video games is probably pretty high on the list, you know? Like, that's pretty far up there. Yeah. So, I, so yeah, I, I think I kind of, I kind of see it's the way. Um, I'm curious to see how this goes. This is gonna be our first time having Nurse on Cool Tower ever, actually. So we Nurse we, on Cool Tower is really interesting to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Historically, we've had it on Groaning mostly because mm -hmm. the overall skill level has been more lower, right? Like when we first started doing scrims, really no one had any idea what the hell they were doing for the most part. Mm -hmm. So like killers would just dominate all the time because there was there was like like extremely sloppy playable yeah. survivors. And yeah, it's gotten better now, and I'm curious, right? Because because like this kind of feels like a big leap. Like I feel like. Going from what we've had to going to this, which is like the which is like the nurse cold tower set. This feels like yeah. a set where you really do, especially if the nurse plays well, right? If, if the nurse is really on on their game, it feels like a survivor. You really got to be on top of your game here. Like uh, like any any little slip ups at all can be taken advantage mm -hmm. of, and yeah, you can you can see. Some, I think we can see some big results here, hypothetically. I think at one point you had nurse on a chapel as well, right? I think you yeah there for like a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was also. But Nurse Cold Tower is really interesting because it's really about survivor death locations more than it is about chase at some points. Where so like normal, say you your death first death location for your first chase is probably usually going to be around five or one, depending on where your grub spawns and stuff are. And people are going to probably try to knock out like the middle generator first, just so they can work around that. But as if all goes well, Nurse on Cold Tower really should be out. Yeah, yeah. From 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 what I'm told, it depends on like the rule set and what's allowed, but like. Because I, I, I was always told, like, if you allow things like pop eruption, like Agi, right? Like, that should be, like, a 4K from Nurse. Like, yes. pretty much, unless she messes up. But, like, assuming we don't allow that, which we don't. We don't allow pop eruption combo. Um, I, I think we even have, might have Agi ban, if I'm not mistaken. I'd have to go check. look. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I, assuming that we're going to be working with, like... Yeah, station general ban for two ones. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, like, there's going to be a lot of restrictions. Like, the, the, the builds are going to be very bare bones. We're probably going to see weird stuff, like maybe Splash from the Shadows or Dying Light or some weird mm -hmm. shit like that. And I think that's going to be interesting because, yeah, I think you're right. Like, I think if the survivors do play correctly, then then then, then they should get some outs. Um, but again, I do think it's very easy to slip up, right? Like, I think all it takes is, like, the nurse finding a, a survivor, like, in rotation for the unhook or something at a bad time. Oh, like, yeah. all it takes is one thing like that to happen for it to really snowball. But, yeah, I think it also, like, depends on, um, you know, how long, or, or sorry, I think it also depends on, like, how how well the nurse plays, too, right? Because, like, because again, I, I think both yeah. sides here are going to have the pressure. Like, I don't think either side's going to be playing perfect, so it's just going to kind of depend. A big thing, too, is going to be the killer's game sets. Because it's going to be knowing who's going to be doing what. like Because like your first chase can be whatever. Like You can have a really fast chase and get your hopes up, but it can just be stolen from you in a heartbeat if the survivors just do what they need to do correctly. Yeah, exactly. 100%. So... Yeah, it'll be really, uh, it'll be interesting to see how they handle it, you know? Like, I'm curious to see if the survivors are yeah. going to be very, like, hyper aware of their death spots. Um, curious to see, I mean, honestly, I'm even curious to see just, like, how the blinks are from Cricket, right? Like, I mean, like, yeah. I feel like even that's an Good important nurse thing. Good very entertaining. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, I mean, it, it is possible to, like, like, I, I feel like Nurse is one of those weird killers where a lot of people... Uh, like how do I say this? I I think really having your blinks down like perfectly and making the right decisions micro wise is honestly a, like a little like harder than a lot of people give it credit for. And I think it's one of those things yeah. that can be very difficult to learn unless you practice in like scrims a lot. Because again, in like a, in like a pub setting, you can just do whatever you want and still get away mm -hmm. with it because who cares, right? But I feel like really understanding like nurse micro and handling it all correctly is like a lot harder than people give it credit for. And yeah, if that's not really on point for the nurse too. That could also matter a lot. So. I guess Especially we'll since we shouldn't really see super long survivor chases because you're kind of really restricted to where you can take your chase against Nurse because the survivors really need an open part of the map to work in for like gens and stuff. So your chase is kind of restricted to one corner kind of thing or like a corner of the map where you just take your chase and you let the survivors work the rest of the map.
Yeah, yeah. So, okay. I'm, I'm curious from like a strategic point of view here, right? Like the nurse is going to spawn mm -hmm. on one side of the map, obviously, right? Now, mm -hmm. the uh, now wh where exactly do you take the chase? And in terms of like gents, I, I mean, obviously you take it into the into the corrupt most likely, right? And into the corner. Do you double a mid, like here, like you're probably going to take the chase into like deep one most likely, right? The chase but, is like, going to go five. Oh, you think the chase is going to go five here? The chase should go five corner here. And then it's a big, oh. Whoa, whoa. Okay. That's kind of sick. What the hell? That was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah what? <laughs> what the fuck? And then I think... So I think the chase would go. Oh, actually, oh, oh. what the? F okay. Oh, oh, you've been booted. We're, All right. We're not allowed to can we spec? Yeah, no, we're good. We're out. We're I done. think that's. I think that's everybody. I think everybody gets kicked there, right? At least I hope so. Let me uh, go. Let me go as Discord. Um. Did we all get booted? <laughs> I hope so. I fucking hope so. Just that car was too powerful. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. We. Okay. We. Yeah, honestly, I'm glad that happened at the beginning of the game and not like halfway yeah. through. That's really lucky, actually. Because if that happened, if that happened like halfway through the game, we'd be in a really awkward spot where we're like, "Oh God, what do we yeah. do?" You know. I've seen it happen before, like when I was doing a one v one event. Like somebody had like a really long chase, and like halfway through their chase, the streamer like got kicked out and couldn't watch anymore. Oh. So like the chase had to be like timed on a rough guesstimate. <laughs> oh so God, rough. that sucks, dude. Yeah, dude, DB servers, man. My lord, my lord, my lord. All right, that build um, was very interesting, though. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, because it's it's actually interesting that we. Yeah, I mean, I'll I'll wait till we get back into to like mm -hmm. talk about it a little bit more. Um, but okay. The thing we can see against Nurse, I don't know if you know, is uh, if the survivor is dead, and they don't think they can last in a chase, sometimes it pays for them. To, in higher play, we'll just see people just dying on the pallet twenty four seven, just because it wastes so much more time than somebody can last in a chase sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. That does make sense. I like I like I feel like even if you do the thing where you like die emoting under pallet just to make her paranoid even, right? Like mm -hmm. even, even if nobody's around, like you might just buy an extra like five or ten seconds of her like walking around and making sure no one's there before picking up, you know? Because as a killer, that is terrifying, right? Like if you get it down mm -hmm. and then it gets pallet saved. I mean as nurse, it's like it's a little bit less of a big deal as other killers, because obviously you're nurse, but like as any killer, that's like obviously a huge time waste and you don't want to let that happen. So yeah, that does seem like it could be a potential a a, a potential way to buy time too. Normally, if you're playing for pallet saves, you'd have the flashlight player play for the pallet save, and you get the pallet save, and then you just blind the nurse. You chain blind the nurse, and you're gone, you know? Mm. Yeah, 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 that does make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm curious. We'll so, see. so you're mm -hmm. So, you're saying, I, I mean, I'm saying this, like, I'm asking this, like, half because I just want, you know, like, the viewers yeah. to understand, but also half so I can understand, too, because I'm, I'm still learning a lot of this shit as well. So, like... For instance, if corrupt spawns top side like it did like like it did again right here, mm -hmm. um, you are yeah. I mean, I guess it does make sense that you take the chase. Like you're like you're probably gonna get found so right top now, side, right? You're gonna take chase and you're gonna go right behind Shack or into the five corner, and they're gonna work that nine gen over there. They're gonna work yeah. the ten gen to get it out of the way, and they're gonna work this mid gen. Yeah, and they're you probably should... gonna double this ten gen actually if they want if they can. Yeah, and like you you probably double the furthest away gen right, so it doesn't get interrupted with pop. Probably I don't know. Like I've seen people do 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 different things where like I've seen people double the gen that's like more mid map, but it feels like it's super risky because if the killer like gets there with pop before you finish it, then it's just like it just like destroyed right because it's like semi close our first to the hook. Chase gets a good amount of blinks. Ooh, which this, this is kind of rough time because I'm all ears is in play here. And this oh. Balance landing, but oh no, no, oh no, 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 oh, that's Whoa. really bad. Uh -oh. This is really bad because we have a five gen. Yeah, yeah, this top side is disgusting. See, and now, this hook is gonna be deep. Wow, is, that's rough. Smart here, they're gonna hook like either this hook or they would go to 11, but this hook here is gonna be perfect. It's kind of in the middle of all the gens, and now they don't really have to leap. <laughs> yeah, that's brutal, man. That is absolutely brutal. Yeah, there's so many gens up here now. Pop goes the weasels up. They probably don't have that much progress. They're currently doubling this one. This is the... Oh, is that... Was that at five? Or wait, where was that? I couldn't even tell. That might have been at five? No, is there even a gen at five? I think I think that might have been at five. If I'm not mistaken. Unless that was... No. No, no, no. It might be that, uh... Oh, yeah. I think it's... Yeah, I think it's down here at, like, seven, eight o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I think they will likely get that done. And it did look like somebody was hovering for the unhook, and there it is. The Dilly's gonna come in and get the unhook for free, actually, which is really good. That's probably the best case scenario. I mean, a hit comes in, but they don't get down for it, which is good. Immediately applies deep wounds. Balance now, landing comes through. Can allow is still very much viable because nobody else is on gents. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I think. I think. I think this is a very, very solid spot to be in. This is gonna be Nia going back up on her second hook. 
And again, you can still carry a topside, right? She doesn't mm -hmm. even get fully out of topside. This does yeah. get her a little bit further out, right? But like because that hook positioning was so deep, even with bounce landing and everything, she still doesn't get out. She gets a little bit far, but not like not 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 the whole way out. This hook positioning is still fantastic. Yeah. See now, they're not gonna be able to put much pressure down because if our killer has is noticed, like with the game sense there, they'll notice that, that other gem was doubled one hundred percent. So they knew that, that person came for the save and was the only person that couldn't be doing anything. So they know that when the gen popped, nobody's doing anything anymore. So yeah. that was very free. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh looks like Ooh, looks like they're actually working eleven, right kind of behind the killer without them realizing. Like they're literally doing this gen right here. I just don't think cricket realizes. We are killing our perk here. Yeah, yeah, dying light is dying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I do think it's worth it, right? Like obviously like getting a mm -hmm. kill at like four gens, maybe yeah, three gens. It's one hundred percent worth it. It's that fifty fifty chance you take with the perk. It looks like Feng is thinking about trying to make a play here with for the people or something, but it doesn't seem like Cricket's really giving the space for it. I think if Cricket gives the space for it at all, like that. Oh. Ooh, I don't like this timing this, from Cricket. No, this was a bad play because yeah. there was enough time on the gen that the killer could have just confirmed Nia out of the game and still let that gen be pressured afterwards. I think this was a slight mistake. Yeah, do, yeah, and she only had like five or 10 seconds left before she was dead. Like that was such a weird time to leave. Like I feel like if she did that like 30 seconds sooner in the hook stage, it would have made sense, but that was, oh, that was a oh. good blink hit. That was disgusting. Wow, what the hell? But still, this is not the death hook survivor. This is this is the for the people survivor. So now, so like now you got to carry Feng back up and yeah, yeah, you can still control this gen setup up here. Unless, if they got that done, that would be huge. He's injured though. This is really scary too. If he doesn't get out of here, this could be really bad. The she, nurse is paranoid here though. Yeah. Because she, she, even if she knows he's there, it's do I go pop the gen? Do I take the chase? If I go pop, if I go take the chase, they can go pop the gen. Yeah, yeah. That's got to be a really scary situation to go for, right? Like obviously you would light down that guy before he leaves, but yeah, like if there's someone else sneaking back there that you don't know about or something, that could end up ending really poorly. And they get the in, they get the unhook while injured too for that for that pop kick, which oh. is really good timing. Live gonna buy some distance. We like tunneling the obsession this game. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, because like also for the people now made made this survivor the obsession. Yeah, dying light doing nothing this game, which is interesting. One o'clock or sorry, uh, yeah, 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 one o'clock. Our survivors also are being smart works. now, but I think that they need to reset because yeah. they need to play with their people. We need as long as they have four alive, this game is very much theirs. Yeah, it feels like they're playing a really risky game right now because it, 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 it's very easy. Like if Cricket happens to find one of these injured survivors, like right now she's about to find Renato. Oh, that was a good gen pot. But again, if he gets like down and slugged quickly, like, I don't know. This could still, this could Dying still be rough. in the corner here is actually very good for them because the other three survivors can sort of work with us and they had progress on one. So they might be able to break it here. Yeah, they're currently doubling Shaq. And yeah, oh, yeah, I think no, Nia's gonna, one. yeah, Nia's gonna finish one, and they're also gonna pop Shaq too, and that's gonna leave him with actually still a kind of a three gen, to be honest. This There's... is where we're gonna see that punishment from the mistake though of not killing Nia. Yeah. Because now we're in a really rough spot. We have so many hooks spread out. If Nia was out of the game right now, this would one hundred percent be able to be a three gen situation where the nurse could just play it and win. Yep, hundred percent. But yeah, this is this is absolutely still a winnable situation for Survivor, right? I mean, it could still mm -hmm. it could still go for the nurse too. I, I mean, like obviously if they make a big mistake, but yeah, this is a situation where the survivors play us right. They should be able to get out of this. Which mm -hmm. again, like kind of like you said, it's pretty unfortunate because with how that start went, I think we were. I I, I feel like this was looking like a four K two ish, maybe even like potentially potentially maybe more potentially a little yeah. less. But yeah, I mean that was a really good start though. Like that was like, such a strong position to be in with that fast down. This is Delhi up too, right? Yeah, this is Delhi right here getting the unhook, yeah. So One Deli problem we might see here is death locations are really going to be vital now. We really need to get to the other side of the map for the nurse to get punished. Yeah, yeah, that was a really good one blink hit there. I do believe this is decisive strike though. Oh, it might be. Yeah, we haven't seen it on anybody. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is the DS survivor. Oh, this is rough. Because Unbreakable also going to come through from the other survivor. So yeah, they're now just the, both the back up on their feet. I believe Hong is working. Somebody should really be doubling that her for this chase because this chase has gone so far, they would just put so much progress down. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the survivor mid map is doing. She's kind of just stealthing around and maybe setting up for the unhook, I guess, like preemptively. But I feel like, yeah, maybe could have just been doubling that gen right away and probably could have maybe had it done by the time this Especially was all Especially with Blastmine. Blastmine could have been put on the gen and wasted so much more time given the free hunter across the map anyway. Yeah, tr yeah, true. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. Blastmine makes it even more valuable. 
Yeah, but instead the killer gets the hook, makes it back with pop, and now this gen is going to be back to regressing, and this is going to buy the nurse a bit more time. And now there's, like, everyone's death hook now except for Yui, so, like, this is where, again, it could still go in the nurse's favor now. Like, if she, if she gets a kill very, very quickly and they can't and they can't pop a gen for it, oh, that's big. That's now, so if Nia huge. dies in the corner here, we're kind of cooking for them. You know, they're kind of going to get somewhere. We just yeah. need to chase the last for like a, a, maybe another set of blinks, and maybe. I, I don't think she. I don't think you. Should, I don't think you come into the chase. I. I, th I think this is a mistake uh, to come into this. I think. I think with the gen progress, you know, is there. This. This is guaranteed that gen pops. Like you guarantee oh, the yeah. gen pops. Yeah. I. Yeah. I actually. I really yeah, was not a fan of that commit. It, guys. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I feel like I feel like especially with them being injured, I think that I think the survivors there are very prone to making a mistake, right? Because like obviously like if you're chasing the knee and it makes it and you like seem like you might commit, they're gonna be like, okay, let's get a gen done and in exchange for it, right? So like knowing that, I think you could just go back, catch them off guard, right? And they're all injured. If you can get a down right near that gen and then just get a hook right near that gen, that's you're you're good to go, right? And as long as it's not Yui, it's also a kill. So yeah, that just felt weird. I think committing there was not the play at all. That felt very rough. Ooh, does the Oh Feng doesn't get out from that. Oh Nope. But it the others really, I don't th I don't think it matters too much. Like if the other two can just like if for example he sits and waits for hatch and Yui just leaves and that person dies, I think this can still be like maybe a two, two, eight, ten, which is very beatable. Yeah, that's this still feels really good, yeah. This is actually yeah, this is an eight stage game is what this is, yeah. Eight stage mm -hmm. game. Should be ten, no? No, it was eight. Uh, Yui was completely fresh. That was three hooks out, and then there was one oh. more stage out from the Renato. So yeah, they got four stages oh. out. That was eight stages. Wow, that's that was beatable. That was eight stages, three fresh. One thing to note though, no Hamolier's value for the most part. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, like Hamolier's kicked in like once or twice, but yeah, it wasn't really, and it didn't, it didn't end up being that strong. I mean, again, at this point, I think at this like stage of balancing, obviously you're kind of like mm -hmm. you're you're kind of grabbing whatever you can, right? So like I do, I don't think it's crazy to run it. But yeah, you aren't wrong. It really didn't provide a lot, right? Like it's, it's interesting to think about what maybe something like Splash in the Shadows or something like some other kind of option that could have been used there might have done. But mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, still, I think a lot of this comes from the fact that uh, I, I think I think the biggest thing here was that blink away from Nia when she was about to die on Death Hook, right? Like I think I think yeah. letting her get unhooked and then also the, for the people coming in. I mean, to be fair to the survivors, that was a really good play from them, right? Like they took advantage oh, yeah. of that and they took and they did it perfectly. But that was the big. That's really what happens when there's like you make those small mistakes and once you're punished for them, it's really hard to come back. Yeah, yeah, it's it's so tough, man. It's so tough, and it's one of those things where like it's hard to blame the killer too, man. Like as, like mm -hmm. like it, like 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 dude, fucking trust me. As someone that's been like like as someone that's been messing around in scrims more, I I can sit here and cast games all day and point out oh, what yeah. the right play is and the wrong play, and like I can like criticize people and be like, oh yeah, this was clearly the right play. This was clearly the wrong play, dude. When you're in the moment, when you're actually playing like the scrim itself, and I can't even imagine like they're, they're under even more pressure because they're like playing on stream. You know what I mean? Like they have, like they're like their teams relying on. I I, I what, dude. I feel like when I do scrims, I'm just messing around on stream. I don't even care, right? And even with that, I'm still like, it's so hard in the moment to know exactly what the right thing is. I guarantee every player would have made, this, made some mistakes of a similar sort at any point in their like, like even the top players make mistakes like that. It's not uncommon, you know. Yep, absolutely. Yep, it's it it, it, it just happens. It's it's uh it's very it's very unfortunate, but it is just kind of one of those things that happens. It's and... kind of vital that people watch their gameplay back and things like this though, and they go, I shouldn't have done this, shouldn't have done that, and work from it, and then don't do it in like in a further game. You know, that's kind of what what I always do. Like if I make a mistake in my game, I like to go back and I watch it, see what I did wrong, and then come back to it, and then just incorporate it into my further gameplay, you know? Yeah, 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 absolutely, yeah. Alright, let me set up a gamba for these guys, because they're a bunch of fucking addicts. Yeah, I know, I know. I'll give you guys a mid-set gamba, yeah, yeah, I mean, everyone, everyone's working with the same information, so it's fine. I don't think the gamba's unfair, it's fine. You guys all know what's going on. Um... Effigy, Prism, tie, perfect. What's your what's your stance on tofu butt gambling, Cookie? How you feel about it? You think they're a bunch gambling? of gambling? Well, specifically, yeah. s specifically tofu butt gambling. You know, I, I want to talk about real gambling here. All right. All right. Like, are these guys a bunch of D? Actually, you know what? Sure, even real gambling. I mean, hi. I mean, you know, like, should I like should I go join Kick? Should I be like should I be kicked off oh, slash nah. tofu? <laughs> <laughs> he said, should I go join Kick? Yeah, <laughs> hey man, I hear these really sketchy crypto company casinos pay really well. You know, all you gotta do is get yeah, all your absolutely. all you gotta do is get all your viewers hooked on gambling, and then you're set for life. You know what I mean? Easy peasy. 
You just gotta Ooh. throw all your morals away, and then you're good, baby. Think, it's easy peasy. I think, I think Twitch chat gambling sounds much better. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah, 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 I think it's pretty good. <laughs> oh wait, yo, I love yo. Look at this. They're all coming in with their Iron Maiden insurance. I fucking love this. Yeah. Actually, this is so sick. Can we just give them the win for that, dude. Seriously, like, like I, like I think they just get the fit win, like already, just, just, just like, just like yeah, right off the bat. Lucky guys. Let's get the other team a penalty for no Iron Maiden fit. <laughs> This is so, dude, this is actually so cool, though. Like, not to, like, nerd yeah. out, but this is sick. This is, like, something I've wanted in the game for so long. It's just some, like, I don't know. Like, some, like, Man, band t-shirt. Yeah, it's so sick, dude. I love it. I fucking love it. That's so, so good. So right. clean. All right, I'm excited to see how this is going to go, though. Because the, the, the win con here now is going to be either nine stages or eight stages for fresh. Should be, like, I feel like this is one of those win cons that should be relatively achievable, mm -hmm. right? What, okay, so... You were saying I think you have more experience with, with, with this kind of thing than me. You, like you, like you were saying, like with this balancing and, and everything, like if everyone plays like correctly or whatever, or maybe like you, or maybe we could just say evenly, mm -hmm. the survivors will likely get some outs, right? But like, yeah. how many outs? Like, like do you think like eight stages three fresh is like one still two, a one decent? Or two. I think it's a decent result, but I don't think fre like if in the res in the way we're playing, I don't think there should be freshes. Yeah, yeah. I think the fresh hook might matter a lot. Like, I, I could honestly see this going, like, eight stages, four fresh for the other side. Like, I, I think that actually could happen. Coming in for this result that they've just come against, I'm coming in aggressive. Yeah. I'm going to put on an aggressive build, and we're going to play it because it's not going to hurt you to spread hooks. Because if you can get... You want to get somebody out as fast as you can, because 3v1 nurse is really rough. Really. And you have to play perfectly in 3v1 for Nurse. 3v1 for any killer, you have to play really well. But Nurse, really key. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to try to get somebody out really early. I like the Dying Light. I like the Pop. don't like the... Uh, I'm all ears. I would probably go for Spies of the Shadow if Gearheads allow. Gearheads are a really solid perk, too. Mm, I think we get actually... crazy value on Nurse. We actually Let might allow look. Gearhead, yeah. I actually think... I take a double look. I feel Gearhead I... kind of lets you play chases and get information at the same time. And it's kind of crazy at times. Let me look. Uh, general perks. No, it's not in there. Tier one. It's not banned there. Ah, gearhead allowed, there. baby. Gearhead yeah. allowed. Hook it up. I think it's, you can get a lot of information out of gearhead. Yeah, that's actually really interesting. That sound, that does sound like a really good option here, actually. Yeah, gearhead seems like it would be really, really good on a killer like Nurse, where, like, obviously the hits come in very like, easily. What's also really good on Nurse, but it is cold tower and totems are rough, is ruined. You can play Ruin mm. and get a lot of early game pressure, get tags, things like that, then get it down, and then the survivors don't have pressure that they need. Like, for example, I did some scrims against Nurse the other day, and this Nurse had Ruin, and she was just tagging early on, and then she got it down, and it's like, damn, two, pe two people are injured, and somebody's down right now, and they're getting hooked, and Ruin's up. Well, how do you play aggressive now? Do you play safe? Do you go reset? Yeah. Do you go again die? It's like one of those... Yeah, that's actually so tough, right? Because yeah, like you like you want to reset, but resetting like you know like like that makes all your gen progress go away. But then if you greed gens, you might get punished. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's tough, man. That's really We're tough. Actually, dying like would be a really safe choice for our killer here, in my honest opinion, because they can play aggressive early game, get some tags and stuff, and then pop dying light will just carry the rest of the game if they cleanse their own, in my opinion. Yeah, that seems like a very a, a really interesting option. Again, obviously like there's some RNG with like this map and like where it spawns and everything, mm -hmm. and yeah, I mean it could end up just being nothing but yeah that seems like it also could be viable and, and kind of like you said before like i'm all ears didn't really do a whole lot right and i feel like any perk that you put there is probably going to be kind of gambly right like maybe maybe gearhead mm -hmm. does sound like maybe the safest option but yeah like i'm all ears was a I bit gambly yeah 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 that's true as well yeah spies also feels very very solid yeah because it's weird because not a lot of survivors know how to play around spies even top teams some of them don't play around spies efficiently so it's like eventually spies will get to the point where people know how to play around it. But for now, I think people are just kind of like, Spies is good, you know? Spies is there. It provides information for every killer. It's not great on every killer, but it will provide the information no matter what. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And again, I think, like, the, the information you get from Spies can sometimes be, like, game-changing. Like, we've seen that be... Like, we've seen that literally, like, the side games before, so... There we oh, go. It is ruined, yep. So That's exactly what I would have recommended. And it seems like the ruin must have spawned bottom side because I don't see the totem with where Zer is facing right now. Another so. thing we're seeing in this game that we didn't see last game so is mangled. Oh yeah, the, yeah, yeah, fragile weeds. Wait, was that not on the last build? No, it was. It was a uh, fatigue add-on last round. Oh, that's strange. Not run fragile weeds. This feels like the add-on that you would just run every single time. Mm -hmm. I feel like, like I, I don't. Oh see yeah, one hundred percent. This, this add-on gets value no matter what. Yeah, just Ooh. applying mangled on blinkate like that's so much extra reset time. That's huge. 
Um, now, our chase is going to want to go five or like six, seven around that area again because this middle gen here needs to go. Yeah, they are pressuring this slightly more bottom side, but yeah, it looks like he's just going to take it down towards bottom right. Maybe. Oh, the That's ruins right there in the middle. Oh, goes for that swing and doesn't get it. Uh oh. That's now, gonna be a long meter fatigue. blinks can be a problem. Committing to them can you have to commit to them if you know you can get them, <gasps> but committing she, to them for and not see that. She cornered herself into that <laughs> pile that was This chase has gone the wrong way now. Oh no! Oh. Oh, no. Oh, sir, no! Yeah, this down ice would have been so good right there. That was such a good position, like almost dead center of the map. <laughs> Ruins gone. Imagine this chase is coming where the nurse wants it to go. Yeah, that is true. This is a better gen setup up here, right? But also, I think as long as they just pressure Jen's bottom side, this shouldn't be the end of the world, right? Like, it's still not great, but the down comes in. I don't know what our gen's oh. like. See, this is exactly the gen that had to go, which is really good by our survivors here. But if this hook goes behind main or in main for whatever reason, it could be really, really good for our killer here. Yeah, they at least get that gen. If they don't get that gen done, this is disastrous, I think. Like, I think if, they, I think if the killer gets to this with pop, that's like literally... Like, again, for instance, if he didn't miss that that, that, that double blink over at like 9, I think that was like mm -hmm. basically game ending right there. Because you, you could have got the, the hook mid, pop that... Or uh, hit that gen with pop. Oh, oh auto in there. Robin is a hit. Our killer's in an interesting position here, Tucker, because we saw gens with pressure like we didn't see last game. Yeah, second gen pops. I think Azura has a pretty good idea that that's everything, right? I mean, that gen surely was doubled, that first one, right? Then that second one pops, like, okay, that one was probably being worked as well. So you know that's got to be pretty much all the gen progress. And he also found both of these guys, right? He found Ace and then Renato right afterwards. So he kind of generally has an idea of where everyone was and, and, and what they've been doing. But the other does come in, and even this, like, okay, turns around now, oh. but I don't think you get out now, right? Unless the killer, like, you need the nurse to miss a set of blinks here. Which is pretty unfortunate. Oh, I mean, oh. does happen though. Does she have balance? You see what no. I mean about those 12 meters? Yeah, yeah. This build is. Oh my. Oh, does have DS, but I don't like running more like deeper, deeper in the top side. I think you have to like even if you even if you just take the down running bottom. I think you just have to run bottom because this DS is not going to get you very far. I mean, maybe if you hit the dead hard. Okay. Well. Oh. That was a sick dead hard, so, you know. No, no caster's curse. Look at that. No caster's curse. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay, maybe we... Uh... And there's a down, yeah. I mean, it's still not bad, though. Definitely bought some time. I think that, I think that was them getting one done, right? So, yeah, like, they're going to pop yeah. one. That's going to break the three-jump um, here. I don't like where our killer's at right now. Our killer needs to just take whatever hook they can get now. Uh, this is still defendable, but our killer's made a bit of a risky choice in the regard of they let ace kind of unhook i would just kind of tag days before i took kate's bt just because yeah. i'm a good survivor yeah true and like there's no there's like, like there's nothing allowed that extends that bt right like it's got to be 10 seconds so you can just get a tag and then kate's pretty much in the same spot she would have been already Ooh, that heal was incredibly fast. Oh, their ball back to full. This is disastrous. This is disastrous for the killer. The survivors are actually in a fantastic spot here to win now. Like, I survivors kind of had really good death locations this game, and, and and you can see like I was talking about like the death locations really really matter on this killer. Oh, Kate in chase again. She does have dead hard. Hits it again. Oh, nasty dead hard. And yeah, if she's just staying goes bottom. For a good amount of time, we could see endgame. Ooh. Okay, good set of blinks from Azure though. But I, they, will, will they get a gen for this? They're actually... Are they split along... No, they're split on two. And then the third person is in a locker? Is that where they were? Wait, what was happening? Am I dumb? No, they're split on three gens. I was cycling so, th so fast I got confused. But they're, they're actually split on three gens, which is interesting. I don't know if I like that. I don't like... So, like, what I would... I would have been doubling one of them. Yeah, yeah. Honestly. I think this isn't bad though. I mean, there is like, the, like you do have a no, lot of progress. Well. Yeah, and you do have like your survivors are all split now, right? So like the killer is now very split in terms of like the biggest being able to do. We're making here is twelve meters. Is wait what wait wait what's that? Twelve meter blinks, like the second blink. Oh we're just, yeah. We're using them way too much, and we're just giving the survivor. 
Yeah, that's what I, that's what I was saying about like about like Nurse Micro earlier, right? Like that's mm -hmm. a big, that's a, it's one of those big things where like you can get away with that kind of stuff in like public games, right? But yeah, like uh, there's so many situations where you just want to one blink and then go into fatigue, use and then like use the distance that you have to like just nail your second blinks. That was a good set of blinks, though. One thing to note, by the way, too, is obviously we just saw Liza and Deadhog get taken out of the game with yeah. that kill on Kate. Yeah, that was an interesting build to have both those in the same survivor. See, gonna... now this is where things can get ugly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is, yeah. Like, again, they are in a good position to win, but it could, it really could swing. Pop's gonna come through here. I think that gen, I think that gen at main has still been regressing, so I think it's gonna be very, very low. Azure seems to be a bit paranoid about it, though. It allows the unho- Oh, well, Ooh, that was no. second wind. I think oh, that's big wind. for Survivor, actually. Oh. Good blink there, though. See, now, if this is me, I probably would just tag and try to go check on main. Oh, we're going to actually I, get to get it down. Oh, this Jake. seems This seems fine to me because I feel like you know that the yeah. last survivor is in main, right? I honestly feel like, yeah, like you maybe just tag this Jake, and I'm pretty sure you have time to go back and get that hook and then still make it there with Pop. Or even, th I think this, even this yeah, is fine, too. Is oh, you don't, actually. Wow. Yeah, no, that's why I was taking... I was saying with the obviously the regression rate's not that big on just dry kicking, so I think the play was to just tag and go back and because they were never gonna pop this gen in mid for like if you go into check main, so I think yeah the play was to just tag and go. Yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah, that definitely does make sense. He needs way more than this to win, so he's not gonna just be satisfied with that unhook. But they're already out. They're already out. Well, yeah, he's full health though, so he's so, so yeah he's gonna be out too. That's, that's gonna secure them the win. These two getting out is gonna be enough. <laughs> I think what we did see, though, is in the first game, our nurse was much more comfortable than this nurse player. I don't know if it's like, I mean, obviously it was their set they picked in the first game, so it's like, obviously a thing. Are we going to see a hatch? Ooh, maybe. Oh, he's so close. Oh, look at him. He's trying. Oh, no. <laughs> it's like the snail versus the tortoise, man. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> but no, I think, obviously, FG proved that this was their set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah they did a really good job here, especially on their survivor side. They did so so well. So yeah, I mean, there you go. It's, it's gonna end up being seven stages. So not like not honestly that huge of a difference, right? Like it's gonna be seven stages three no. fresh versus uh, eight stages three fresh. So only only a one stage difference, but still, mm -hmm. the survivors here definitely did a really good job of handling this well. And yeah, it's kind of like you said. I think the uh, like the nurse player definitely seemed more comfortable from from uh, Evergy rather than Prism here. I mean, again, that's kind of to be expected with it being like their pick, right? Like obviously these guys had death locations. A lot. The other team didn't as much, but our nurse here really oversent some 12 meters. Like I think this remember it's just a comfortability thing. Like you're probably used to sending them. It's a bad habit, but not the worst habit to have. Yeah, I think that's one of those things that you kind of have to like. I, again, I, I I I say this kind of thing a lot, and I probably sound like a broken record, but I think there's so many like habits that you can get into from playing mm -hmm. like public games and stuff, where like when you when you start doing scrims, you kind of have to break those habits, right? Like for instance, whenever I play like stuff like I don't know, like 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 Oni sets, I have to like always like continue to remind myself like okay, don't go for like s like absurd <laughs> flicks and shit, you know, like mm -hmm. like just go for like safe downs, like just take the safe down, don't do like absurd like That's flicks and shit. That's another thing I used to say to like. Billy players when they used to scream like before like the buff and stuff. Don't go trying to curve somebody, bro. Just just play safe zone them down and yeah. get whatever you want, bro. Because you start curving, trying to curve people, people are just gonna run your shit. <laughs> yep, yep, exactly. It's it's one of those things we really gotta like. You really gotta like get that discipline of like the different gameplay, right? Because the gameplay mm -hmm. is much different in terms of like what you do and what you don't do and like how to play safer right and like being able to play more safe so it is one of those things where i think you really have to break out of those bad habits and i think it again i think it shows that effigy is probably more practiced in that set right which is probably why they chose it right they probably yeah. practice that quite a bit they feel comfortable with it and it might just not be quite the same on prisms end. i mean they didn't seem uncomfortable in it but i think they just no, seemed a little less experienced right so like yeah um so, bound on records right yeah i think we're on clown records now yeah which is gonna be kind of interesting mm -hmm. clown is gonna be i think tier three balancing that so, is correct. Yeah, again, so reminder, this is the first week of us having much, much stricter balancing. Um, so, like, again, before we would have, like, things like Deliverance being allowed against every killer, right? Like, we're going into a clown set right mm -hmm. now. Clown's, like, notoriously not incredibly strong. He's not terrible, but he's not incredibly strong. So, like, we used to allow things like Delhi against him, and that was obviously kind of absurd, and it ended up making the games kind of, you know, ridiculous. But uh, now, 
Um, now we uh, we have a lot of things banned. Like I mean, there's a there's a big old list, so they're gonna be kind of uh, like scrounging around for perks, like a, like a, like a lot of like the the fast healing perks and the fast reset perks are banned. So 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 the survivors got to play much much more tight in order to make sure that, that they get a good result. But that being said, I mean, with it being cloud on records and everything, like you, they still should realistically be able to get a good result going as long as they play well. Yeah, one hundred percent. I think we're going to have to see a lot of teams adjust like with balancing and things like this because I know so many people used to come in and just be so comfortable. It's like, ah, where we got so many perks, we can just rock on. Now we're going to have to see a lot of strategy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So it's, uh, it'll be interesting. It'll be very, very interesting to see. Oh, yeah, here, I'll, yeah, yeah, here, I'll give you guys a new Gamba. Hold up, I got you. Oh, dude, some people are getting fucking rich from this Gamba. My lord, there you go. Um,. And yeah, this will be yeah, this will be yeah 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 like this will be really interesting. I do think it's like again, it did kind of feel like before this it was a lot of like I like I know Dino was talk was was talking about it and calling it like 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 a hand holding basically, which is I think pretty accurate, right? Like I think you were you were able to play a little bit sloppy and a little bit you know like you were able to make That's some mess ups and it wasn't really that big of a deal because you had all these perks right that kind of like helped you get out of it. Yeah, with the, with these with these more strict with these more like strict restri restrictions. Wow, that's hard to say. Strict restrictions. Strict restrictions. You can't really like play sloppy right like if you're playing sloppy mm -hmm. and you're making multiple mistakes you're gonna get punished and you're gonna end up giving you're gonna end up like just like donating the killer a, a huge result so yeah it's gonna be a real big test of seeing which team can play really tight here and i'm curious to see because again both these teams are playing solidly like these are both teams that like again we've seen both these teams when they first were formed right like a long time ago like i remember when Energy mm -hmm. was first formed I remember when prism was first formed like they've both come a long way like they both are playing very solid now like way way significantly better than they were when we first saw them so i'm really curious to see like right this will be a good test of their growth like mm -hmm. how far have they really come right from 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 them until now and i'm curious to see how, the, how this plays out because i think this is a i think this is a good test like nurse is a bit of a funky set right like i think nurse is a good set but i think clown is one of those sets where it feels a little bit more basic right like a little more yeah, like 100%, yeah yeah, like I feel like it, it, it seems like there really shouldn't be anything like crazy happening that would make one side get a big result, the other side wouldn't. It feels like it's kind of more like basic gameplay, and it's just going to be whichever whichever team I think has been, you know, is going to be just playing more like generally solid standard gameplay. Which again, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I have no idea what to expect. I'm curious to see. I think now with the new balancing and stuff with scrims, this is going to be like the real introduction for comp. You know, like this is going to be where. You're gonna to have to start strategizing more. It's not gonna be more of the oh, I got this perk so I can do this, this, and this anymore. You're gonna start seeing like less people are gonna start playing less aggressive, those kind of things. They're gonna to have to really change up their game plans. They're gonna to have to what you see in your games when you're spectating them, like for example, if you're watching DVD League or Out in the Fog, whatever, what do you see in those games? You're gonna be able to implement into your gameplay now because the balancing is gonna be very similar. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like it's yeah. I I I feel like, I feel like that was a big thing. Is I feel like you you would watch stuff like that, and it se it seemed like it was almost completely different from what we had. Because you know, like with like I feel like with us, you could just do things like bomb the hook with Delhi Unbreakable against like yeah. any killer, right? And like it didn't really matter. But yeah, yeah I can tell you every time Empathy would be like playing, and it would be like I'd be like, oh, we're in a rough spot, and it'd be Jinxie, would be like, I got Delhi, and I'm like. Oh yeah, that is allowed in this rule set, isn't it? Just go bomb the hook. <laughs> yeah, like fuck it, just go, just go bomb it. Who cares? Yeah, yeah. So it, yeah, definitely, it, it's gonna be more interesting, right? And I think it's gonna like, it definitely is gonna translate more into like other comp leagues and kind of getting people ready and mm -hmm. everything. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm curious. Yeah, and it's I'm curious to see. I know like Prism, for instance. I don't. I'm not 100 percent sure about FBG's experience outside of like these scrims or whatever. But I know Prism is playing in uh, OTF Sapphire League, so yeah. I, I'm sure they have some experience with with this kind of stuff already. Um, yeah, we keep an eye on them. Yeah, yeah, I've been, I've been, I've been actually keeping an eye on pretty much all the teams over there as well. Like I've been just mm -hmm. kind of creeping. I'll like watch the games sometimes and just like see how see all the teams are doing. But yeah, yeah, it seems like they're all like adjusting pretty well, right? Like every mm -hmm. every team from Scrim Knights over there is doing decently. Like I know like Chad's still undefeated. I think Bad Intentions has only lost like once or something. I think Prism. I was really happy to see that too. we picked up some teams from here and out on the fog. Yeah, yeah. It's these guys step up, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool to see, man. Like, it's really cool to see how, like, and again, like, how quick some of them have, like, like again, like, Chad's, mm -hmm. Chad's is completely undefeated over there. They're, 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 they're like, I actually scrim Chad's quite a bit, and those guys impressed me. Yeah, they're fucking good, right? It's crazy, mm -hmm. like, how fast 
a lot of the teams from from here have like developed and just gotten like pretty fucking good pretty fast right so like mm -hmm. and it's awesome to see them actually like participating in like a in like an actual league and like getting into like the actual comp yeah. scene with like you know like people that don't really have anything to do with like my community or anything and then still like performing really well and doing solidly yeah it's really really awesome to see like all the teams over there yeah um and again, Prism is one of them. So again, like I do yep. think that that means that they do have the experience, right? Like they obviously play in like other leagues. Yes. Like again, FNG might even do that kind of stuff somewhere else. I just don't know. Like yeah, I no, I'm not sure. I, I just know that Prism obviously play an hour level. I'm a really big fan of like the Sapphire side of things, like where we have like the newer the entry level. It's not like how it used to be, where you could be an entry level team and get put in and play against a team like Eternal all the time. You know? Yeah, yeah. Now you kind of get to play the game, you know, and you get to play against people of your level, and then you're slowly grinding up. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's honestly such a good feature, yeah, because it, mm -hmm. it it did seem like it was very, uh, yeah, like I imagine it would be crazy demoralizing to just get kind of like tossed in and then, you know, yeah. being like being put against like teams like Eternal all the time and shit. Like that's that's that's, that's so rough, man. It's so so rough. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, I'm glad comp is becoming more open to newer teams now. Yeah, yeah, it feels like it's been it's I, I like I like I I'm I'm hoping that I'm helping with that too, and then also like things like Sapphire League. There's so many things that are like yeah, 100%. being made that I think are making it easier, which is fucking awesome to see. Yeah, it's so cool because there's Especially so many big for us, like because Loris it's Loris's introduction, and we do it for Loris. Loris loves it. Loris is always like spamping us. Do you guys want to sign up for this? Okay, Loris, <laughs> we'll do it. <laughs> Oh, man. I see. I, I love that shit though, and, and that's another thing too. Like, there's so many different leagues out there, and so many different things that like you that you can play. And oh, this build is interesting. Oh, uh, I should have probably wait. If I hit on leave, oh shit. If I hit leave, it'll go. I don't know. I I, I went through it the builds quickly. You, you just go back. back to oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I just want to quickly look at this just to make sure there was no banned perks here. I don't see anything that looks like it would be banned. I don't think we banned adrenaline, so I think this is all good. Um, yeah, everything seems to be fine. Yeah, but I just want to take a quick glance just to see if there's any like glaring things that seem like I would have been an issue. But I think I think they're fine. And yeah, the build is interesting. Stabiffle, man. Stabiffle. Oh, we're doing like build it. checks. Okay, never mind, never mind. We don't have to do that. We're doing build checks. So we're fine. Okay. Thank I'll you, Dino. But yeah, you so you so you actually like Stabiffle here, yeah? Yeah, because it can be really, really good on this killer in particular, because once you get hit with that bottle, like if you get tagged and you get bottled, he can just kind of two tap you at times, you know? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I could absolutely see uh, it. You can be more inclined that sloppy's better on this kind of rule set. Yeah, that's what I, I'm a little surprised not to see sloppy. That's kind of what I was thinking. Like I was, I was sitting here saying, I was sitting here thinking in my head, like the other options, right? You could run pop, sloppy. Like there's, a, there's a lot of things that you could run there I in its like place. Pop. Yeah, you don't, you don't like pop here. I think because... I, would, I would take sloppy over pop, but I, mm -hmm. I, I, in my opinion, I would, I would probably take pop over stabiffle at least myself, but. That might just be coming from a place of ignorance. Maybe I don't know exactly why. I, I mean, think here you would either play like if you're super comp like if you had to like 4K RNG, you wouldn't run no it here, you'd run like sloppy save maybe on clown, like with scorch. But I think here this is probably the safest build. Or we're in sloppy yeah. sloppy for save. You know, like getting out like Get rid of save, put sloppy there. It's kinda one or the other you can run it there, or you can run them both and not run no it. But Clown's kind of weird. I don't think you should get downs like that, so I don't think pop would be the perk, you know? Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that honestly does make sense. And it, and it does kind of feel like this build especially does feel like a little bit more of like a safer one, where like, okay. and, 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 and even the way that Simple's playing, right? Yeah, like he's not like, mm -hmm. like protecting the hook. He's just like, yeah, just get out there and like, and, and just like take the chase. Like, probably just gonna try to get some fresh hooks for, for pain res, right? Like, you know, see what you can do with Noah in endgame if Ooh. it gets there. Ooh. Barely gets away with that. Gonna take the window. As a spiller really too. Here. With this filler being down, yeah, I was gonna say you definitely have the ability to just reload here and play it with a bottle. Yeah, this knee is just gonna bail and go back to the maze tile though. And this pallet was still thrown too. This mm -hmm. is a this is a pretty good chase in this knee, especially with, especially from her losing that 50-50 on the on the filler early and getting hit so early, she's bought so much time here. And now she's even going deeper into the corner, I think. Yeah, she's just she's deep here. edge map behind this dumpster. <gasps> And yeah, just got headed deeper to die. Oh, this was very well played here. Yeah, bought a lot of time. They, they pop one gen. They have another gen almost After finished. That first chase, we really needed this for our survivors because that first chase was really fast and unlucky for our survivors. So this will really bring back some of the momentum for them and take some from the clown. Yeah, I'm kind of curious. Like, I know that the build is more like a, of an aggressive build, but with how fast that early down is, do you think there could have been some kind of justification to like playing around that hook more as opposed to oh, just yeah, pull, leaving so. it? Yeah, because I feel a like a confirmation to second wouldn't have been the end of the world for our killer there. It would have probably been beneficial, and then we could have got that person out maybe. 
Yeah, because I feel like I feel like with how fast that down is, right? Like obviously it's not a guarantee, but I feel like you can play around it in a way where like if they if they don't handle it like perfectly, you could maybe even 4K, right? Because if you get I'm that wish. person killed. And that's gonna and be maybe brutal. where the hook was because the hook was back here too. You can also keep an eye on generators around you. You always had eyes on four different generators with like where that hook was. So honestly, camping the hook would have been a play that would have been viable. Yeah, I agree. I'm a little surprised we didn't see it. This is a pretty good find on Jake though. He was like kind of stealthing around here waiting for the unhook, and he gets found and pressured a little bit. And that's gonna force another striver to rotate in, who is also gonna be getting cut off. Oh, he has to leave too. So now securing struggle on this survivor instead. It looks like throwing see, the like, bottle there is not worse. Yeah, I feel like I feel like you should be keep, always trying to hold on to at least a bottle. Like if somebody comes to the unhook, you can just bottle them and just stop them. Like for example, you could just get a second stage for free if somebody was there. You just bottle them and they can't unhook. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is true. That, yeah, there's like a little thing, but that could be a huge like clutch thing. So yeah, mm -hmm. it's very important to keep in mind. Forces struggle here now. I'm kind of surprised to see him still hugging this hook so close. Down to two gens left, but honestly, the survivors are. They're not. There's only one doing a gen at the moment. Two of them are hovering this hook. So, actually, this is working out really well for the killer. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't. I wasn't really a huge fan of this because I was like, oh yeah, they'll probably just like slap like like slam gens. But they're not really. They're actually like really early setting up for this, and only one survivor's been on gens this whole time. So this is actually going to be really valuable here. Yeah. I'm just gonna wait out and watch this die. Watch this survivor die. I guess they're now doubling you know, shack. If, if I was me, like obviously somebody is gonna be stealthing for this, but you can't. They're gonna leave now, but that's gonna, that unhook's probably gonna happen actually. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Yep. You could throw a bottle at this gin and just know when people come back immediately. But at this point, honestly, I'm not going back for that tunnel out. I'm just gonna try to play around Shaq and let, let that gen regress a little bit. Maybe get a tag. But yeah, I feel this like tunnel out. It's just gonna take us into end game. Yeah, this doesn't feel worth it. Oh, unless that happens. I still don't think you interrupt this gen though. I, I think this gen pops. Yeah, like this gen still pops, and you're still. Close to going end game. As a matter of fact, he's not even picking. He's actually committing very yeah. far away. That gen. All, I'm surprised somebody's not sat on that gen across the map. Oh, I, they are now. I okay. think they are now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah this oh, was the guy that unhooked. I think. Okay. Whoa. Oh wait, is it? Oh. Okay, that's interesting. But I think they have both deep three and deep nine, don't they? So like. Yeah. This yeah, is this yeah. Is this it feels be like free for survivors to pop a gen. It's all about our kill, and I just need to choose a chase and end it. That's pretty much where it is. Yeah. And then going to end game, but going to be able to go after somebody else. Yeah, maybe you can get like a pain res and interrupt the end game a little. Now, nah, even that's oh. not happening. Damn, they popped that fast. But yeah. now, no one's I up. think this gen might have already had progress. Didn't we already hook this survivor? This could just be six stages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this survivor has been hooked. This is not a fresh hook. Surprised to see a commitment here because I feel like that gen had to be doubled. That had to be doubled. Oh. So I think the mistake we're going to see here. Is yeah, this is just gonna be six stages too fresh, right? Yeah, six stages too fresh is gonna be the final result. They got out two fresh hook survivors. This I is really good for for, for effigy. Early wow. on, we should have tried to confirm this person. Yeah, yeah. I think I I think that was the biggest question thing to me the whole time was I think that first down came in so quick that I was like, wow, that was incredibly fast down for Clown. Like, and again, like the hook position wasn't even that bad either. It was mm -hmm. kind of like you said, there was like four gens around like, that, that, that you can keep an eye on. Like, I think you, you confirm that the struggle. And then again, from there, you kind of just wait and see how they handle it. And again, if you can get that kill with still like, you know, two gens up, three gens up or something, that's a, an insanely good position. Like that is, a, is incredibly strong. I wonder if Sloppy may have been better with this play style that we just played for. Yeah, yeah, and I, see, I, I was wondering if Stabiffle had a role in it because it was the obsession that got him put on hook. I'm hoping not, because I, I feel like Stabiffle sometimes gamers can get like Stabiffle brain, right, where they like don't want to like. I feel like that's another one of those, you know, those things we're talking about, like with like the, the twelve meters and things like that. Save the best for last can really rot your brain, like to ah, my my obsession. I want my perk value. Doesn't matter, just exactly screw yeah. the perk. Play to your strengths. Yep, exactly. Like, I think at that point, like, having, like, again, I don't know, it, 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 it likely wasn't that, right? Like, I'm just, I'm just uh, kind of mm -hmm. like, you know, I'm just like taking no, a guess. Things that can happen. Yeah, but like, yeah, if that was it or if that was like a, a thought process there, yeah, obviously, like, a kill is way more valuable than getting some access to Biffle for sure. So, yeah, it is one of those things that I think that some people can be prone to messing up, but it might have just been more of a decision thing because of the build and everything. But yeah, I, I just found it odd. Like, I found it a bit odd that, like, 
Because again, he he got the second hook in the in the same exact hook, right? It was the same hook that the first driver mm -hmm. went on, and then that hook got played around, right? And like kind of got like camped almost fully to death. So I just found it strange, right? Like I think if you would have did, I think you would, if I think if you would have did exactly what he did on the second on the second hook to the first hook, that mm -hmm. might have been a whole different game to me. But yeah, it ended up not happening that way. And then I too again to to, to Evergy's favor, they did a really good job of taking advantage of all those. Like I had everything all Very the, good survivor play. Yeah, their positioning was great. Like having that survivor there to to to, to get that unhook whenever he left early. Like again, obviously like if the if the killer didn't leave early, then he would have just died anyway. And we, and then we and then we might have been like, Oh, that survivor wasn't on gens. But like realistically they had a survivor position to take mm -hmm. advantage of the mistake. The mistake came in, they took advantage of it. Like they I feel like they were playing that really, really well. So to the, to the survivor's favor, very very solid play. I mean, again, another situation like last game where they got where they where they where they took a down early, and we you know it's like a uh oh situation, and then it ends up just being okay because of how well they play. So, yeah, That's two last second saves we've seen. Yeah, yeah, which is very interesting. And honestly, in this game it was so much worse for the killer. But I know what how the killer felt because I can't tell you how many times in scrims you just leave comfortably because you see that bar about to expire. Like, just this last week, uh, obviously you won't hear, but we, they obviously did it on Dino Town. I had somebody about to die, and like, I hit the person going for the unhook. The person died on, on like, the, the HUD, but they still got the unhook, and I was like, no. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, that's the worst, man. God, yeah. I, I don't, I've seen so many people do that, that, like, I feel like, I don't know, it's so tough, man. It's so tough, because I feel like now, whenever I do scrims, I'm always terrified to do that, because I've seen so mm -hmm. many situations where that happens, right? Where, like, a killer will, like, leave the hook, like, maybe, like, five seconds early before they die, and then someone just, like, sinks in and grabs the unhook, and you're like, really? Like, again, I mean, even in, like, Hen's tournament that I casted, like, like mm -hmm. a while back, I remember that happened to Torment, and it was devastating, dude. It was so depressing, because, like, it was such a good really game, and then... Game yeah, yeah, it could be an... Yeah, like, it is super game-changing, right? Like, the difference between getting a kill and then the person getting unhooked completely safely with no punishment whatsoever, like, that's a mm -hmm. massive difference. So, yeah, man, kind of kind of wild that we keep seeing it. Like, twice this twice this set so far we've seen it, and... This game, the last game we saw it, though, was such great play from our survivors, because that Jake was just sitting there and just... Uh, because I think that Jake knew, the clown's going to leave and go to Shaq. I can just swoop in. Yep, yep, 100%. But I also think the clown shouldn't have left just because that gen popping wasn't endgame. Yeah, exactly. And, like, also, I don't really think, like, the like the other thing, too, is that you don't, you can't defend that anyway, right? Like, even if you walk mm -hmm. away and kick it, like, you're not going to be able to keep that gen up, right? Like, not with like, two people there. Yeah, exactly. And, like, even, like, like, like even if that dude would have died on hook and like no one was there to unhook, then what? Like like you like you still have somebody dead and you have a gen that's at like ninety five and regressing, and then you have a bunch of other gens that are split all around the map. Like do, are you just gonna like, sit at Shaq for the for the rest of the game and watch it regress? Like either way, that gen's probably popping, right? Like I just don't think it's really, mm -hmm. it doesn't really seem to be worth it to just go put a little five percent kick on it and everything, right? Like I feel like no matter what, you're probably gonna lose it anyway. And I think securing that kill seems so much more important. So yeah, I don't know, man. I think yeah. that's one of those mistakes that I really wish we'd stop seeing. Like again, I get it. Like I get the mindset that makes you want to do it because obviously you just want to be as efficient as possible but yeah it's it's dude it's, it's game changing it's a game changing mistake like had had the clown actually stayed and either gotten the kill or at least forced a one for one right like that could have been uh like like uh pain res coming through it could have been like even just like, like like more stages it could have been a kill like there's so many things that could have been that could have happened there that would have been way way better so yeah it's just kind of a shame honestly yeah it's it's a learning curve yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that's what Scrim Nights are for. People learn and move on. And I think that's good. You know, like people get to come in, they get to try their stuff out, you know, experimenting. This is the place to do it, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 100%. So, yeah, I mean, we'll see though. This does put, uh, this does put these survivors from Prism in a pretty good spot though. Like, I feel like, I guess we'll see. I mean, I feel like the, or sorry, I shouldn't say these survivors from Prism. I mean, the killer from Effigy, I mean, is actually in a pretty good mm -hmm. spot here. Because, yeah, you, like, six stages, three fresh is all he needs. Um, which is not, like, again, it's clown. So, like, I, I want to say, like, six stages, three fresh, that's it. But at the end of the day, well, like, at the same time, mm -hmm. like, it still could be, you know, less than that. It's not really that unrealistic. Like, clown is not an amazing killer. And, like, if the survivors yeah. are playing really good and they're winning a lot of 50-50s, anything could happen still, right? I feel like another thing our clown could have done last year is that is sometimes we were just throwing bottles. I feel like sometimes you just need to throw one bottle and maybe put down a speed and you just get the hit at the tile. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Like, I feel like there was a lot of situations where it was just like unloading them, right? I mm -hmm. feel like it's it's almost like one of those. Uh, like maybe this is a little bit of an extreme comparison, but like it mm -hmm. almost like reminds you of like a, like a, like a way less 
version of like Huntress, right? Where like you have 100%. these resources and you want to like make sure that you're actually using them in valuable ways. And if you're kind of just like whipping them around all willy nilly, then you know, you're kind of just hurting yourself is all you're doing, you know? Like I know the reload isn't nearly as bad and everything or whatever, but like it's still. For example, you are making a good point here because for, for survivors, when I play against Clown, for example, I count his bottles because they're being thrown at me. And I, if I don't count more than four, he's got four bottles and that's what he's playing with. And the same with Huntress, you, you should, as a team, count the hatchets thrown at you before she reloads. And then you'll know when she's got to go reload and how you can play that tower. It's definitely, it's a big thing. And if survivors are doing that, you just get punished. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that was definitely a big thing for sure. I'm curious to see. Okay, so something we saw last game and a big reason mm -hmm. why we thought that it could end up being like, again, I, I think a big thing that we, we, we've we already talked about a bunch about like how it went wrong. There was a down so early that last game, right? Oh, yeah. And again, Clown is not that strong of a killer. I'm curious to see if these survivors can come out here and like really delay the first down. Cause dude, if they like, mm -hmm. like if they like pop like two gens or something, before, like, you know, like, like uh, before the first down even comes in, that is like exactly the kind of thing that could happen that could make this still winnable for Prism. Like the, if there's like a semi-decent first chase in this game, like say you get hit and you last for a little bit, there's a good chance we see a teammate come in. Take yeah. a hit, extend the chase, two gens pop, they reset the other survivor, they go work on some other gens, the other person goes down, and then there's just so much pressure still going. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I'm curious if we see that kind of a thing, or if we just see in general just like really, really mm -hmm. good pathing and really good looping and really good, like, I, I, I feel like especially if you just like win a couple 50-50s and chase, I feel like you could really find yourself in a position as clown where you're just, you're struggling, right? Like, if the first chase ends up lasting, like, a minute, minute and a half, two minutes, right? Like, it, you know, it could happen. This is definitely not, like, a guaranteed win here. But Effigy is, I will say, Effigy is in a spot where they could just end this right now, right? Like, if they if they get more than six stages too fresh on killer right now, that's a 2-0 and the, and, the, and the best of three is over. So they, they're they actually in a really mm -hmm. good spot to maybe just end this right now. What is really rough, though, is clown can just get rolled. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. It's clown, you know what I mean? Like, uh -huh. it's, it is what it is. It's clown. So, we'll see. I feel like clown's one of those weird killers, though, because I feel like he, he can get rolled, but I feel like it's almost like I wouldn't, like, expect it like I would. Like, if it was, like, a killer like Freddy or something, I'd be like, okay, I'd be surprised if he doesn't get rolled. You know what I mean? Like, clown's yeah. one of those killers where I'm like, I, like, yeah, he he has a good chance. Like, there's, there's definitely a chance of him getting rolled, but I feel like I've seen a lot of clowns do solidly like i don't it's not it doesn't feel like a guarantee at all to be honest oh here's your build <laughs> oh yeah hey here we go yeah well i feel <laughs> eh, i don't i don't like this here i think sloppy in place of that With would the be win much better Tom that is in play right now i don't think this was it i think sloppy would have been the play and even if you because it <sighs> Yeah, this 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 feels more like if the win con was like eleven stages or some shit, and you like mm -hmm. really really mm -hmm. needed to get a big result. Yeah, this feels like you know, you just you, you just play safe and just get like an okay result. But we'll see. I, I honestly I would have loved to see instead mm -hmm. of like no or sorry it, it, sorry like it, like it, like instead of pop either or or even sloppy maybe something like brutal even I don't think would have would have yeah. even been crazy here. Oh, oh. good hit though. Oh, smash it. Oh, that was. He's gone in the reload, too. See, now this is one of those situations where the killer's going to recognize that, and they can't really leave this. Yeah, he does take an angle on him, though. I mean, the shape of the map uh, is kind of doing him a favor here. Maybe we see a hit tank. Hmm. Still has a filler. This, this is kind of what you're saying about, about using the bottles, like, all willy-nilly, because now mm -hmm. you only have one bottle left.